What is going on guys? Welcome to your 29th tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys some different ways to create an array. The first way I'm going to show you guys is how to create an array by you basically tell it how many things you're going to store in it and then you store the things in it. So unlike before where you do everything at once this is just a different way where you can create an array. So the first thing that we need to do is create the array and tell it how many items we're going to store in it. So I'm going to make an array called things and of course you set it equal to new array and instead of listing all your items in there what you need to do is just list a number. So I'm going to say three. This tells our array that we're going to store three items in it. So now what we need to do is we need to treat each index like a variable and assign it a value. But remember we don't start at 1 then go to 2 to 3. Since we're storing three things in it we start with 0 and then we go to 1 and then we go to 2. So even though we said we're going to store three things in you we actually never use the index of three just 0, 1, and 2. In 0, 1, and 2 that's three things. So in order to assign values to these variables things 0 and then you just assign a value to this like I don't know what's one thing Jersey sure looks good so now what we need to do is we need to do this two more times so just go ahead and copy this and just like that easy there we go so thing zero one and two so we can list Jersey Shore and all of them but let's go ahead and list Jersey Shore um Brian Regan that's one of my favorite comedians and also as a third one the new Boston so now what we did is this we created the shell of the array by basically saying alright we're creating an empty array called things but we're gonna be storing three things in it so what this does is JavaScript says alright computer set aside some space so when he enters the three things you can do it just fine so believe it or not you can actually make some code right here and then do it later on it doesn't have to be right after it but I just did it right after because I mean I really don't have anything else to code so just like before whenever we want to access one of our items in our array let's just go ahead and print it out on screen document right you do it just like normal um type the name of your array and then the index just like that now whenever you print it out check it out the new Boston so unlike before say you want to make an array and then you wanted to write some code and then you wanted to assign values to those indexes this is one alternative way you can do this and actually later on I'm going to be showing you um, some programs where you need to do it this way you don't always have the availability to make an array and list all your items in there right as you create your array sometimes you have to wait to uh, I don't know maybe the user needs to enter information or maybe you need to go grab it from a database so you can't always add all your information in your array as soon as you create it so that's why I needed to show you guys this now the last um, different kind of way I guess I could say of making an array is it's pretty much the same as we did before but instead of adding a number where it sets aside space we're not going to add any number at all and this is going to create an empty array an array that we can add items to dynamically or change the size as it goes on so say we wanted to create an array of um, things that the user likes but the thing is we don't know how many things they're gonna put so we don't know the size of the array right now and we also can't create an array and list all the items right now because like I said we don't know how many things they like we don't know what they like so we pretty much just need to create the shell of an array so in order to do that here's what you do go ahead and make a variable and name it like stuff or something like that I don't know name your array anything you want and then of course you type new array but since we don't know how many items are going to be placed in this array or even what the items are just go ahead and add empty parentheses just like that what this does is saying alright I'm gonna create an array and I'm gonna call it stuff but I'm just gonna add elements as you tell me to add them I'm not gonna set aside four spaces and I'm not gonna add anything to it by default I'm pretty much just creating an array right now so later on whenever you want to use this array it's available to you so you can actually um, you know maybe do some random coding variable x equals 9 variable tuna equals um, 54 or 65 minus 54 
and you do all your coding you need to and then later on when you say hey I actually need to use that array right now here's what you do just go ahead and take whatever index you need to store that value in and store anything you want in it like Baconator just like that looks pretty good and then you can do this as many times as you want so you're not limited to you know four spots or three spots or whatever you can go ahead and add your items dynamically as you need them so stuff one equals um, old pumpkins just like that so now you can see this is a kind of a different way of making an array like I said this pretty much just creates an array that you can use later on and then of course whenever you need to actually use those indexes you can just like we have always before document dot write and then just go ahead and type the name of your array which was stuff and type the index which was one and this should print out old pumpkins on the screen check it out old pumpkins pretty cool huh so that is how you create an array using the method of assigning space beforehand and also creating an empty array so now with all of our information we know how to create an array three different kinds of ways and you might think alright I just use the one whatever works for me whatever I think is the best well sometimes you can do this but other times when you're writing a program you need to use one over the other it's a lot better too so keep all of these in mind just don't remember one of them and think that you can forget about the other two so anyways that's all I have for you right now so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next video